Hi there, and with this lecture, we start a new section in which we will discuss Python lists. Lists in a Python is a built-in data structure, which means that it comes with the standard Python library. There are other built-in data structures in Python, such as tuple, dictionary, and set. Here, in this course, we will look at lists, dictionaries, and tuples. So let's start it with lists. A list is a data structure that holds an ordered collection of items. Example, you can store a sequence of items in a list. Here, ordered means that the way that you declare a list, it stays as it is. The place of uh, elements is not changing. It's easy to imagine a list if you think of a shopping list where you have a list of items to buy. Except that you have each item on a separate line in your shopping list. Whereas in Python list, you put commas between your items. It's expressing like this. The list of items should be enclosed in square brackets so that Python understands that you are specifying a list. The values in list called elements or items. There are several ways of creating new list. The simplest way to enclose the elements in square brackets. For example, here we are creating the list of integers. We are just enclosing these integers inside square brackets. Here we are creating list of string elements. Here again, we are just enclosing the strings with the square brackets. The main difference between array and list is that here the elements of list don't have to be the same type, which means that we can create a list like this. Here we have a string value, here we have an integer value, and here we have float value. We can mix up these different values and create one list over here. Even if we go in advanced level, we can create a list inside another list, which means that if you see the elements of the list here, the first element is string and the second element is float and the third element is integer and the fourth element here is another list. When we count the elements of list inside this list, it will be four. Nested list is taken account as one element. So if you have a list inside another list, this is called nested list. Let's see how this is working in practice. So here in Visual Studio Code, let's see how creating list works in Python. So first of all, let's create a list of integers. I will put like this integers. Inside square brackets, we will put one, two, three, four. So if I press enter, it's created. So I can print out the value of these integers. integers. As you see, it's printed the values. So our list is successfully created. Let's create another list with string values. String list is equal to, once again, we will put square brackets over here. Let's add some strings here, milk, cheese, and I'll put butter. This is our shopping list. So we create it here. If I press enter, it will be created. So I can print the value of this list over here. We can see that it's successfully created. So our list is successfully created. Let's try another list with mixed values. So here, mixed list I will create. I'll put values for example first value will be integer then i'll put float then let's put another string value spam then just spam and let's say one more time print this out list you see that the list is successfully created let's Try another example where we will create a list inside another list. So which will be nested list. So in here we will create nested list equals one more time again square brackets. We are putting one, two, three, four. 
Then here I'll put 1.5, 1.5. One point six. Let me create another list inside this list with string values. Let's put test. It will have only one value. If I click the enter, it will be created automatically. So I can print out the values of these nested lists over here. So you see that this list also is created. So that's how we are creating a list in Python. If you want to create an empty list, we just need to put something like this. And we can print out this empty list, empty. You see that there is no element inside our list. So the creation of list is like this in the Python. So hopefully everything is clear now. Uh, now in the next lectures, let's see some other operations that we can perform on lists.